Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, guys, of course, we will be doing another unboxing, and I'll be giving my review. And this time, guys, bagong bago siya actually, pero hindi siya na launch dito sa atin sa Philippines. I think sa China lang siya ni launch. So we'll be unboxing the newest Realme X. So ito yung bagong think mid-range phone to ng Realme. But before anything else, gusto ko lang pang i-announce na nagpapag-giveaway po ako ngayon. And that is the Realme C2. So, if you guys are interested, I'll be putting down the link here and also down in the description box para makasali kayo. And also, don't forget to like my Facebook page. Actually, bagong-bago lang yon. And nakalimutan ko siyang i-add sa mechanics. So, don't forget to like my Facebook page. And also guys, pasensya na ngayon na ako nakapag-film kasi nagkasakit ako the past few days. Kaya medyo ganito yung boses ko. Pasensya na ako medyo parang hirap akong magsalita. Ayun. Anyway, going back to the phone. We have the Realme X. And to those people who are asking, Ate Mary, global version ba yan? Hindi po. Obvious naman sa box natin na this is a China wrong version. Hindi ko maintindihan ko ano yung nakalagay. Binali ka po siya sa Shondi Philippines or Shondi Philippines. And and I got it for 14,500 pesos for the 6 gig of RAM variant with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. I think parenting 8 gig of RAM and 4 gig of RAM. I'm not sure, pero if you guys are interested, check yun na lang yung page nila sa Facebook. And yung color na meron ako is the color white. Talaga inantay ko to. Actually, ang una una meron lang sila is yung color blue. So ayun, space blue pala yung tawag dun sa unang lumabas ng kulay ni Realme X. And sumunod lang yung si polar white. Actually, very recent ko lang nakita na may polar white na si Shundi Philippines. Kaya talagang green up ko na. Kasi kakaiba yung kulay. When it comes kay Realme, ah, kasi ngayon marami ng color white na lumalabas na phones like kay Samsung. Pero kay Realme, sa Realme na brand, namatay yung ilaw. Anyway, ang dadal ko na naman. No, buksan na natin yung phone. Ah, well, turn na pala nung cutter ko yung, yung box ni Realme X. Okay. Sirain ko na nga. Dahan-dahan pa ako. Sisirain ko din naman pala eh, no? Dahan-dahan ako guys kasi I learned from my mistakes. Naalala nyo ba yung Oppo na mong take ng malaglag sa akin? Sobrang takot-takot ako. Anyway, we have here of course yung smaller box inside. For sure, dito nakalagay yung mga paperworks ni Realme and yung jelly case niya. Kung may jelly case. Let's see. Oh, meron at hindi siya basta-basta. We have here of course yung ating panandot or yung SIM ejector tool and we also have paperwork from Realme na hindi natin mabasa. Hindi ko alam kung starter guide yung isa, kung warranty card yung isa. Basta walang English, puro Chinese yung ano nakalagay. And we also have oh, ang ganda ng case guys. I think hindi na nga to jelly case. I think hard case siya. And yes, I do consider yung mga accessories na kasama. So, good job for Realme for having this kind of case inside. And we have here the phone itself. Nakakapagtaka lang. Bakit ang dumi? Ang dumi niya. Bakit hindi ko matanggap? Kasi sealed to guys. Tignan nyo ah. Ayan. Bakit ang dumi niya? Hindi ko matanggap, Beshi. Bakit matumi yung phone ko? Eh, bago to. Anyway, um, we have your the polar. Ooh! Guys, ang ganda ng kulay! Actually, it's it's better in person, pero I really hope na appreciate yung... Anyway, hindi ko pa nalas yung plastic eh. Na-excite ako, guys. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, of course, we have here yung cardboard na nagsa-separate sa phone at yung mga accessories inside. So, we have here a USB Type A to USB Type C cord, which is a first time. I think first time to kay Realme na nagkaroon siya ng USB um, type C na cord. And we also have a book 3.0 power brick. Tempre tanggalin na natin yung plastic. Oof. Kiso brang ganda tignan niyo naman. This is my first time na may kita to in person. Hindi po kasi ako usually pumupunta sa physical store ni Shundi Philippines pero or Shundi Philippines. Pero wow, grabe. Good job, Realme. Para siyang I want ko ah, parang siyang pinagsamang Oppo F11 Pro and Realme 3 Pro sa design niya kasi yung lapad niya and yung placement ng camera niya 
malalaman mo lang siguro sa color niya kasi ngayon mayroon ako is white and wala rin namang color white si Oppo and ayun may real me logo here sa gitna and obviously notchless na to so full screen kung full screen si real me so meron po tayong motorized pop up camera ipapakita natin yan later on i think also a first time yan kay real me ay meron tayong headphone jack a microphone, a USB Type-C port, and the speaker grill. And good job for Realme for maintaining a headphone jack. Kasi usually, mga phones ngayon, kapag USB Type-C um, port na siya, hindi na nila nilalagyan ng headphone jack. So, good job kasi dalawa yung bonus natin, di ba? USB Type-C na may headphone jack pa. And then, sa right part ng phone, meron tayong power and lock button. And meron siyang yellow detailing, color yellow siya. So, ayun, marirecognize mo agad. Eh, feeling ko kaya siya nilagyan ng color yellow guys kasi nga kasi nga yung kanyang SIM card 3 is niya sa taas so para hindi mo siguro mapagkamalan na yun yun diba? and let's see kung expandable ba siya via micro SD oh so hindi dual SIM siya guys pero hindi siya expandable so yun lang yung nakakasad sa kanya but anyway sa left part naman meron tayong volume rocker and then, on top, of course, we have another microphone and yung pop-up camera niya. And then, at the back of the phone, of course, meron tayong dual camera setup. And yung usual na trademark ni Realme, meron siyang yellow ring sa main camera niya. And yung main camera niya is 48 megapixels. That is a Sony IMX586. So, good news rin yun. And then, yung secondary camera niya is 5 megapixels. And then, sa ilalim nun, meron din po tayong LED flash. Okay, now we're back. In front, meron po tayong 6.53 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display I think, ewan ko ha, first time rin ata to Kay Realme na merong AMOLED display Pero imagine Full full screen siya guys Full display, no notch AMOLED display with pop-up camera Also guys, yung bigat na to ha 191 grams and honestly, may kabigatan tong phone na to. Pero sa akin, it doesn't really matter. Also guys, ang nagustuhan ko pa kay Realme X sa design niya sa likod, yung camera bump niya, hindi siya ganun kakapal. Kasi usually kapag masyadong makapal or obvious yung camera bump ng mga um, ng mga cameras ng mga phone, sobrang ewan ko, para sa akin, turn off na yun. And then in front pala niya guys, yung display niya ha. It has 91.2 screen to body ratio. Imagine yun yung sobrang nipis lang. You barely get to see yung kanyang pinaka border and also yung chin niya. Sobrang nipis lang din. And also for the resolution, meron po siyang 1080 by 2340 pixels. Now I told you guys na meron po siyang pop-up camera. So definitely meron siyang face unlock. So let's see, kunin natin yung mahiwagin natin mirror kung responsive and accurate siya. Well, obviously, sobrang, hindi naman sobra, mabilis yung kanyang front camera, or I mean, yung kanyang face unlock, at hindi ako na-disappoint doon. Pero, I'd rather use, of course, yung kanyang under-display fingerprints. Again, all you have to do is, of course, tap the screen, lalabas daw kung saan niya dapat siyang pindutin, hindi niya na kailangan pindutin pa yung kanyang lock button. Under display fingerprint niya guys, para sa akin, it operates as you'd expect sa price point na itong Realme X. And I know, hindi siya may pinakamabilis, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-compare kay OnePlus 7 Pro or kay Oppo Reno 10 times zoom. But at least, mas reliable pa rin naman si under display fingerprint kaysa kay face unlock. So, I'd rather have that and use it kaysa kay face unlock. And guys, napansin ko yung front camera, yung pop-up camera ni Realme X. Pareso parehas ng front camera or yung pop-up camera ni Oppo F11 Pro. Same na same. Halos walang pinagkaiba. Yeah. And before ko makalimutan, meron po siyang 16 megapixels. So after this clip, I'll be flashing a few photos. Front and rear camera, pakita ko yung mga sample shots natin.
I've been playing with the camera of this phone case, yung front and rear camera niya. And for me, the results will be considered good, especially kapag nasa araw, guys, kapag outdoor, and kapag may enough na light ka. Tingnan nyo naman yung selfies ko, guys, i-flash ko siya dito. Diba? Sobrang ganda. Kasi nga, maganda rin yung effect ng ring light ko. Lalong-lalong na, guys, yung mga daytime shots ko, Using the 48 megapixel, sobrang ganda. Sobrang deep, especially yung color blue and yung contrast level niya na amazed din ako. And my favorite part, of course, is yung chroma boost. Ito yung pinakalagi kong ginagamit kay Realme or sa kahit na anong phone, kay Realme 3 Pro, kay Realme 3, may chroma boost po siya. And it helps your photos to be a little more saturated than the usual. And when it comes to its portrait mode, yung separation ng subject from its background, actually okay rin naman nung nagjo-zoom ako dun sa mga ginamitan ko ng portrait mode. Okay yung separate, actually okay yung pagka-blurry niya sa, sa, sa edges nung tao or nung, nung pinipiturean natin. So ayun, it nicely recognizes faces and as well as objects. It's not perfect, pero pwede na. Kasi nga yung pressure niya, actually yung results ng photos guys, we can compare it sa mga phones na doble pa yung pressure nito. So let's just say yung mga phones na mayroong 30,000, very comparable yung photos niya doon. So, I think, um, ayun, nagustuhan ko naman yung camera niya. By the way, for its software pala, guys, it has the Color OS 6 with Android 9 Pie. Realme X is as fast and as accurate as the Realme 3 Pro para sa akin. Well, this phone has 2.2 GHz octa-core with Snapdragon 710 with 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. So, ayun, guys, pagkalabas sa pagkalabas ko palang ng phone sa box niya, sobrang bilis lang niyang nilaunch yung mga app. Sample, meron na ako Mobile Legends, yung Play Store, yung App Market, yung Game Center niya. And scrolling through its UI, sobrang smooth, guys. And the Snapdragon 710 chipset delivers a consistently smooth performance for pretty much any task that you throw at it. And guys, itong chipset na to, ito talaga yung para sa mga gamers. And yung Adreno 616 GPU, capable po siya na i-run yung mga games na mayroong high graphics. For example, we have PUBG, Asphalt 9, without any lags or hiccups. So the Realme X should deliver a similar performance with the Realme 3 Pro. Another highlight of this phone, itong Realme X, it comes with a VOOC 3.0 fast charging. So hindi lang nyo basta-basta i-juice up yung phone mo. So kung latest software yung meron ka, kahit na nag-games ka, magfa-fast charging pa rin siya. It actually takes 30 to 40 minutes para magkaroon ka ng 50% charge of course while using yung 20 watts charger niya nakasama doon sa box now for the battery capacity ito pong phone na to itong Realme X meron siyang 3765 mAh capacity which is i know guys smaller kay Realme 3 Pro kasi si Realme 3 Pro meron po siyang 4000 MAH capacity or battery capacity. Pero hindi naman necessarily ibig sabihin nun, shorter na yung battery life ni Realme X. So since meron naman po siyang AMOLED display tapos pinaresan or pinaresan or coupled by a Snapdragon 710 a power efficient chipset and also meron din siyang optimized Color OS software with intensive battery features that will definitely let you use the phone full day without charging. Okay guys, worth it ba na bumili ng Realme X despite na China ROM version lang siya at hindi ganun ka kawahid yung places kung saan pwede kayong bumili. Actually, ang alam ko kay Shundi Philippines lang makakabili ng Realme X. Correct me if I'm wrong. Kung may alam pa kayo, help nyo yung mga kababayan natin na kailangan or kababayan? Kapo family natin na gusto bumili ng Realme X. Okay, ito, pros and cons na. Para sa pros, guys, unang-una na nagustuhan ko, meron siyang headphone jack. We have a 48 megapixel camera, tapos Sony IMX 586 pa siya. Tapos, VOOC 3.0 fast charging pa siya. And lastly, AMOLED display. Una-una siguro na hindi ko na nagustuhan niya, hindi po siya expandable. Um, wala po siyang expandable storage. And yung weight niya, actually, hindi naman siya ganun kabigat. Yun lang yung nakita ko or hindi ko nagustuhan. Tapos, China Rome siya, yun. Yun lang siguro, pero wala naman tayong choice kasi wala pa namang available na real max sa atin dito sa Philippines. Overall, guys, I will definitely consider buying one, a Realme X. Tapos, ang budget ko is 15000 and below. Definitely go for the Realme X. May pop-up camera ka na, may AMOLED display ka pa. 
fast charging pa siya, USB type C. San ka pa, ba? And by the way, Gorilla Glass 5 pa pala yung front screen niya. Again, to those people who haven't joined the giveaway of the Realme C2, nasan si Realme C2 nawawala. Sumali na kayo kasi I'll be announcing the winner on July 5. Ayan na, July 5, I'll be announcing it on my Instagram story kasi ang dami nagtatanong. Pag sinabi ko pang July 5, exact on July 5 ko i-upload or i-ins the story ko. Sino yung nanalo? So that's it for today's video guys. Sana nagustuhan nyo yung ating unboxing and review at sana nagustuhan nyo si Realme X kasi ako, hindi ako nagsisising kumasa sa ako ng 14,500 sa phone na to. So if you did, of course, give this video a thumbs up. I-like nyo na rin yung Facebook page ko kung hindi pa nasa baba po yung link. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye guys and blah, blah, blah. Bye guys and see you on my next video.